Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Epic Knowledge. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can insert data to database in Laravel. So this tutorial will be actually really easy. So in the previous tutorial, we create a uh, table called student in our database. And in this table, we have the name, email and image field over here. So we are going to create that name, email and image input field over here so that we can upload those data to our table. So for it, let's go back to our code and here you can see that uh, this is the view that we showed. So I'm just going to remove this and let's just say over here uh, a div and inside this div we are going to mention a form. So we'll say form. Now we need to mention form because we want to upload data. Inside this form, we are going to mention another div, and inside this div, we'll say level. Let's say level will be name, and in order to write the name, uh, we need an input field. So we'll say input type. So input type will be text, and name equal to name. Let me just add a style over here. Let's just say here style. Let's say padding. It will be 10 px. And let me just copy it. Control C. Then I'll paste it two times on two. Now the second on this one will be for email. So let's say input type will be email and name is equal to email. And after email, uh, we have the image. So let's say here image. And for image, input type will be file and let's say name, name is equal to file as well and at last we also need to give a submit button uh, for submit button we do not recall level so input type will be submit and uh, we will remove this name so now uh, let's just say inside this div we are just going to say align it will be center okay that's enough i guess so now let's save it and if we just refresh over here here you can see name, email and the image choose option and the submit button over here. So now we will go back to our code again and here you can see we mentioned a form. Now inside this form we will say action and then method and uh, we will also use enc type. Now uh, after this we also need to add at the rate of csrf. Now let me explain why we are using this. Now uh, we use csrf this is a laravel token which is required to upload data to the database we need to use this for security reason if you do not use this you won't be able to upload data to the database now who are we are using enc type now if you want to upload a file type data in the database then you always need to use enc type over here okay so enc type will be multi part then slash we need to say form minus data and method will be post since we want to upload data to the database and we need to mention a action over here so uh, in order to mention action we need to give two second bracket and inside it we are going to say url then two first bracket and two single quotation inside them and here we need to mention a url name so let's say we are going to say upload you can give any name you want and once you give this url name inside the action then you need to go to your route web.php and create this url so we'll go to directly web.php and here uh, let me just copy this route control c and i'll paste it over here control v now now if we go to our home.blade.php here you can see our method is post and our url name is upload so here we are just going to say method it will be post and here you can see our url name it will be upload and after this we also need to mention a function name over here so let's say our function name will be upload as well you can give any name you want it don't have to be upload actually so now let's say bit control s now we'll go to our home controller and we will create this upload function so let's go to app then http then controllers then inside it we have home controller so inside home controller we'll create this upload function so let's go to home controller and for creating upload function we just need to say public function then we need to say upload and then two first bracket and two second bracket over here now inside it we need to say request dollar request 
now why request dollar request since we want to get all the data here you can see name is equal to name name is equal to email name is equal to file since we want to get all the data from here so uh, we need to use request dollar request now how we are going to upload all those data to our database now here you can see that our database name is student so here first of all we need to declare a variable you can see any variable you want you can say data or you can say student you can declare any variable so let's just say here student is equal to new and we have to mention our database name over here which is student so i am going to say here student and we need to give a semicolon over here you saw that in the previous tutorial we create a model called student.php which is this one now at the top we need to mention that uh, we have a model called student so we are going to say use then app backslash models backslash student now here you can see we need to write it exactly like this uh, it start with a capital s so now for sending all those data to our uh, student table now let me just go to our database here you can see student we have name email and image so we are going to say over here in order to upload the data we need to say this dollar is student now this student variable is actually this one okay and then we are going to give this arrow sign then we are going to say name is equal to now this name is actually coming from the database from here okay and is equal to we are going to say this dollar request so let me just copy it and paste over here we are going to give a arrow sign and here we need to mention the name that we declared in our home.blade.php for name here you can see we have a uh, name is equal to name for for the student name so we are just going to say here name so this name is actually coming from our home.blade.php so let me just copy Control C and I'm going to paste over here and right now we are going to do the same thing for email We are going to say over here email equal to request email So now let's save it now. Let me just explain it again. This email is actually coming from the database from here and Here you can see email uh, request email now this email is coming from our home.blade.php if you go to our email you can see name equal to email now if you give another name like uh, if you give s over here you also need to give s over here as well so let, let's just uh, keep email now after email we have the image now uploading image uh, some of you can find a little bit difficult so let me just upload those two things first after that i will explain how you can upload image so in order to upload those two data uh, you just need to say here dollar student then this arrow sign we have to say save and after saving the data we want to stay on the same page it means after we upload the data we want to stay on the this page actually so for it we are just going to say return redirect then to first bracket this arrow sign back then again to first bracket so right now we are only sending name and email to our database so let's save it and we'll go back to our browser again and let me just refresh over here and let's say name equal to yamin and let's say email equal to yamin at the rate of gmail.com and if you just uh, click the submit button you can see the page is reloading and it's done now if you go to our database and if we just refresh over here you can see we have name and email over here which we uploaded successfully now here you can see also created ad updated ad and also see id uh, those those things are actually generated automatically by laravel so now let's try to upload a image to our database so for it let's go back to our code again and for uploading image we just need to say first declare a variable let's say dollar image is equal to uh, we are going to say dollar request this arrow sign file now uh, this dollar image uh, this is a variable that we just declared and this here you can see uh, dollar request file now this file uh, name is actually coming from home.blade.php here you can see name is equal to file so now uh, this file is actually stored in our this uh, image variable so after this we need to declare another variable so let's just say over here image 
name is equal to we are going to say here time now this is a time function i'm going to explain it why we are using it but let me just finish this line first then we'll give two single quotation and inside it we'll give another dot then at the end we'll give another dot and after this we are going to say this variable dollar image so we are going to say dollar image then this arrow sign we are going to say get then capital c client then original then extension x then extension and into it to first bracket and after this we need to say request arrow file so let me just copy it and paste it over here and we are going to give another arrow sign we are going to say here move and we'll give two first bracket and inside it we'll give two single quotation and over here we need to mention a folder name you can uh, let's just say over here student and we are going to give a comma then we are going to give a a dollar sign and after this comma we need to mention this image name so let me just copy it and i'll paste it over here and the last step is uh, let me just copy this line ctrl c and i'm going to paste it over here ctrl v and here i'm just going to say student image now this image name is actually coming from the database if you go to our database here you can see we mention image and this image is equal to this dollar image name so we are just going to say uh, let me just copy this dollar image name control c and control v so let's save it control s so let me just explain this four line over here so here first of all uh, we declare a variable called dollar image and inside this dollar image variable we are storing that file that we are getting from our home.blade.php let uh, which is this one name is equal to file and after that uh, we are we declare another variable called image name then here you can see that we declare a time function now this is a time function and we are saying image get line original extension so it means using that using this time function we are actually giving every image a unique name so every image in the database will have a unique name because of this function over here so after giving the image a unique name we want to store that file inside our public folder student folder so for it uh, we need to actually go to our public folder here you can see we have a public folder over here you can see public so we are going to create a folder inside this public so for it just right click on the public folder and here you can see new folder and over here we are going to say stud student and let's press enter so here you can see right now we have a student folder over here so whenever we upload an image to our database it will uh, store that or have that image in this student folder and at the end we are actually storing the image name in our image column in the database table so now let's save it and let me just refresh over here and let's give the name again yamin let's keep the email let's say here user at the of gmail.com and let's keep a image over here and i already have a lot of emails so let me just choose the image from my downloads and let's just say here uh, let me just choose uh, on image from here and click open here you can see doctor4.jpg and now if you just click submit here you can see it's reloading and it's done now if you go to our database and if we refresh here you can see in the image we have a image over here uh, something dot jpg now its name become like this because of our time function so now if we go back to our code and if we go to our uh, public folder and inside public our student folder and if here you can see a image over here with the same name if you click it you can see a image over here now let me show you one more thing and that is uh, let's say let's give a name let's give a random email and if we do not uh, give the image and if we just click submit it will give us a error that call to member function get original extension on null now the thing is the user may not always want to upload an image uh, to the database so for it we are just going to give a if condition over here so we are just going to say over here if 
and inside this if we are going to say dollar image and we need to give two second bracket over here and inside this second bracket let me just cut this three line control x and control v so what is happening we are actually uh, here trying to get the file so if there is any file only then it will uh, execute these three lines otherwise it will not so now let me just save it control s now if we just refresh our hair and if we do not give any uh, image right now and if we click submit we will be able to upload the data here you can see if we refresh now here you can see there is no image we are able to upload data and we can also upload data with the image as well let's just say here uh, this one let's choose a image let's just say here uh, doctor one let's choose open here you can see doctor on dot jpg if you click submit and if you go to our database and if you refresh our hair here you can see another image of our hair now if you go to our code then public folder then student folder here you can see there is another image of our hair so this is all about this tutorial in this tutorial we saw how we can insert data to database in laravel now in the next tutorial i will show you how we can show data from the database to our hair so thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel because if you subscribe this channel you will get a notification for every laravel video that i upload and i try to make this tutorial as easy as possible but if you face any problem then let me know in the comment section i will try to give you the most easiest and most proper solution possible so thank you very much for watching stay tuned and stay healthy